Hello and welcome to the special session of this TIS. I am Ritu and today's session is about US presidential debate. As you already know that India had just finished its election and we can also see that 18th Lok Sabha is going on. Also, we have seen that UK has also finished its election and USA is going to witness its election by the end of this year. In this scenario, it's very important to have a discussion on these countries because their economies are interlinked and India shares a strong relation with these countries. So today's session is about the debates and debates holds an important place in USA electoral process. So it's very important to discuss that what are the culture of debates in USA and why it is important and what are the processes of debates we have in the USA. So moving towards the points of discussion. First of all, we are going to discuss the news uh, history and also news. Then we are going to discuss the processes. Also, we are going to discuss the role of technology into the evolving nature of the debates. And after that, we are going to discuss the current scenario. And later, we are go also going to discuss practice question for prelims. So it's very important to have a discussion on history, the processes, and also how technology has evolved the debating process of the America. So coming to the history part, so we already had discussed the news that by the end of this year, the USA is going to witness its election. And before election, there is a debate culture in the USA. So in this session, we are going to cover up that what are the debate culture in the USA and what is the history behind the debate culture. So you already know that USA is going to witness its election and there are the two top contender in the USA. The first is Joe Biden and the second is the Donald Trump. So Joe Biden is the current president of the US and Donald Trump was the former president of the US. So they are the top contenders and recently we have seen that CNN has hosted a debate and in that debate we can see that so many opinions have come out and so many people have thought that Biden was weak at this time and so many people have thought that Trump was aggressive this time. So we don't have much to do with that what are the opinions related to the debate but it's very important to know the significance of debate culture in the USA and why it is important and why other country needs to opt such kind of the culture in order to bring more transparency and more representation in the electoral process of country. So this is the introduction and we have already seen that we have top two contenders first is the Joe Biden and the second is the Donald Trump for the presidential election in the USA and uh, presidential election is always a fascinating character when it comes to the USA election because it does not advocate about the people rights. It also advocates about the many things about the origin of the person, about the background, about the history, race, ethnicity. So, so many topics, so many aspects cover up in the presidential debate. So, this is the news we are going to uh, cover up and it also uh, does what it shows. So, it also shows the public perception towards a candidate towards a political party, towards uh, policies. So it uh, solidify the public perception of the candidates and it also focuses on the policies, personalities and vision of a particular candidate. And what we have seen that uh, to the millions of viewers, often the biggest audience of their campaigns, for instance, some 73 million people viewed the first Biden-Trump presidential debate in the lead up, up to the 2020 election. So, this impact we can see that how many people are watching their debates, around 73 million people have viewed their debates. So, it shows that how much people are keen towards their debating culture of the America and why it is important to have a discussion and have a word on this thing. Now, we come to the history part. So, history of the US presidential debate. So, when it got started, so in the United States, the presidential debates were born out of a series of seven Illinois senatorial debate between Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas. So, it's very important to see that who were the first two top contenders who had debated. So, the first one is Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas. And uh, what we have seen that their results could not see immediately. And uh, but 
in the longer run their effects and their impacts could be seen so they all remained quiet up to the 15 election cycles which passed without much public argument between the candidates so this was the initial stages of the debates culture in the america but what had happened in 1948 so you have to also find out that what was the 1948 period uh, suggested and what it signifies that so 1948 period was also a period of cold war so it's also very important when any of the two countries are witnessing election so what is the public perception towards the country it's very important to know for the opponents also and for the country people also so in 1948 the presidential debate would get a boost with the radio broadcast so first of all the era was different because of the cold war era and also for the first time it had witnessed the road radio broadcast between the republican primary contenders thomas davy and harlow stashen and what we have seen that around 40 to 80 million listeners turned into the radio broadcast and what it suggested so the main focus of the debate was the outlawing communism because the era was the cold war and there was a fold who were advocating about the communism and also there was a fold who shows that and who advocated that communism is not good for this country and we need to outlaw the communism so this was also the thing and after that we come to the from the radio we'll come to the television era and even after the first televised debate featuring all of the potential candidate in 1952 so hosted by the league of women voters and what are the importance of the league of women voters so they are the organization who played a vital role in shaping the debating culture of america especially the presidential debating culture so this is the pioneer organization league of women voters who played a very important role in of formulating and creating a debate culture in america so in 1942 what we have seen that there was a televised debate but debate remains a peripheral phenomena so there was nothing like that debate was a main agenda and debate was never a like a what you can say main agenda so it remains at the periphery so this was the significance of debate at that time but later what had happened in 1960 Republican Vice President Richard Nixon and Democratic Saint John F Kennedy took part in the first presidential debate ever televised. So since 1960 the scenario got changed till 1952 what we have seen that debate was there but it was in the periphery. So now how it is taking the center stage? So since 1960s it is taking a center stage and because it was televised and debate took off like a rocket it means that it has started grabbing the attention of the masses and the public began to expect debate between the candidates and debates become a american phenomena so this is also one of the thing now we come to the uh, lyndon johnson so lyndon johnson turned down the request to debate in 1964 as did nixon in 1968 campaign and once elected nixon used his president veto power to repeal a telecommunication act of 1934 and what is this telecommunication act of 1934 so it shows that every candidate will be given the equal time and equal exposure when it comes to the debate so this is about the equal exposure in the media this communication act of 1934 is about that so there also comes a different trend uh, that so many uh, president didn't want to take part in this debate because they don't want to expose themselves against the media and uh, they are using their presidential veto powers in order to suppress the debating culture of the thing and uh, that also uh, gained them in a bad press and bad media but uh, they were more concerned about the debating things and they were not interested in taking part of the debate so this was also one of the scenario that certainly there was a major of bad press associated with the turning down the invitation but they think that bad press is more important and more better than bad television exposure so that's why they outlawed and they try to repeal such kind of the law
which says the equal provision should be given to every candidates in the media. So, the act was Communication Act 1934. So, you need to remember the act's name also. So, what had happened in 1975? The Federal Communication Commission, which is in short known as FCC, came into the existence and it created a loophole to get around the equal time provision and it said that as long as debates were bona fide news events sponsored by organizations than the networks, they would be exempt from the equal time requirements. So, different organization came, they came with a different policies. So, what it all shows that? So, it all shows that evolving nature of debating culture of the Americans, that how debate came to the center stage, how it was first televised on and after that so many people uh, expected that the debate must be televised, the debate must be conducted, then there a law came which was outlawed, then there was much focus on communism, capitalism, so many uh, processes evolved into the debating culture of the America. So, uh, this was also one of the things. Then uh, we had already discussed about the League of Women Voters, so who played a vital role in shaping the debating culture of the America. So, they conducted for the eight years, 1976 to 1984 of the presidential debate. And what had happened in 1988, the Commission on Presidential Debate took over and became the only organization capable of legitimately hosting the presidential debates. But there was a challenge that in order to qualify it for the Commission on Presidential Debate, you have to garner some support among the fan, uh, what you can say, fan base and not just fan base, what you can say among the masses. So, in politics, no one is fan, but it's all about the people and the politicians. So, being able to win a majority. So, they have to show that they are being able to sh uh, show the majority and for that, they have to garner the support of at least 15 percent and how we will know that that candidate has the support of at least 15 percent. So, there was a survey and that survey tells us that this candidate has a support of at least 15 percent. So, this was the rule of CPD at that time and a fair division of time among the candidates is a tradition in debate. So, this is a phenomena of the CPD. And what we have seen that candidates were given the equal opening time and closing time. So, the again that equal provision for every candidate and equal exposure in the media again came to the news and again became part of the American presidential debating culture. So, now we have this process of US presidential debate. So, the commission of presidential debate says that the major parties have no role whatsoever in running the CPD or setting its policies. So, who funds it? So, further it receives no funding from the government or any political party. Funding comes from the corporation and private donation. So, after that what we have seen that uh, commission on presidential debate has no funding from the government. It was not sponsored by the government. It was sponsored by the corporation and the private bodies. So, that also have an impact on the debating culture of the America because they can decide things accordingly. And uh, then after what we have seen that debates are meant to be about candidates views on the issues and no response is incorrect. It's all about the perception, it's all about their views. If anybody is expressing their views, we cannot say that this is an incorrect views or this is the correct views because this is a very subjective thing and it's up to the people that how they perceive these kind of the things. And the results of the debates are all about the perception as I have already told you that it depends upon the perception of the people that how they are perceiving anyone's views, anyone's opinion. Then uh, we come to the another one which is about the public things and public debates. So, what are the public debates and public thing and public thought about and what are the role of polling companies into this? So, we need to highlight the role of uh, polling companies. So, what had happened that after the debate, a uh, public thinks uh, who, what the public thinks that who won the debate. So, in this scenario, the polling companies had a great role and polling companies made an industry and they try to ask voter by telephoning them, by calling them that with your opinion, who has won the debate. 
and that creates perception towards a political candidate and towards the elections also. So, this was the process of the debate what we have seen that and in short it is also known as the snap polling. So, snap polling also out uh, before the election and that has also a crucial role to play the sentiments of the people. And what we have seen that sometimes these survey also failed, the snap polling also failed and sometimes it shows that this candidate is winning the perception chase. But sometimes we have seen that uh, they were not according to their perception and the results were different. Suppose that what we will take the example in 2004, the polls almost across the board shows that Kerry as the winner. But what we have seen that George W. Bush won the re-election. So, this was the thing. Similarly, in 2016, also Hillary Clinton defeated in all three debates to the Donald Trump. But at the end, Donald Trump won the election. So, the, this was also one of the thing. So, this also question a very thing about the snap polling and before making perception towards a candidate because it also influenced the voters' mind, their sentiments their mentality towards a political candidate, uh, towards any policies. So, this can be also one of the things and snap polls sometimes it goes also but many times what we have seen that it already made a perception but it also shows that sometimes we do not have to do much things related to the perception, sometimes results can be reversed also. So, ultimately it is all about the people's will that whom they are selecting. So, these are the list of the important presidential debates who had a great impact on the debating culture of the America. So, we have this John F. Kennedy versus Richard Nixon, Jimmy Carter versus Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter versus Ronald Reagan, George S. W. Bush versus Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton and versus Ross Perot and George W. Bush versus Al Gore. So, these are the important presidential debates we had witnessed in the American history. Now, we come to the technology and the presidential debate. So, today is the era of the technology. So, it is very important to have a discussion and have a thought on that how technology influence anything in our society. So, in American debating society, American debating culture also technology had a great role to play and it is very important to trace the technological development. So, in 2008, presidential primary CNN hosted Democrats and Republic candidates and they had used uh, questions via uh, submitted by voters via YouTube which was heavily criticized that uh, if voters had submitted their question then it is the right of the voter that they will ask the question. So, why CNN got selective towards this? It is the right of the voter that they should be selected towards their question. So, it was heavily criticized. Uh, then what we have seen that uh, there was a comeback at influencing the presidential politics. So, technology had a comeback in influencing the presidential politics and also the debating thing. By 2012, what had happened that people started watching uh, debates on television as well as also commentaries on through so various social media platforms just like Facebook, Twitter. So, this is also things that they are watching these things on two platforms first on the television and also commentaries uh, so much of clips on the Facebook and Twitter also. So, here what we have seen that television is also playing a role and social media is also playing a role. Now, uh, we have another thing that uh, what it shows that. So, what we have seen that there are multiple forces which are involved in the shaping the sentiments of the people towards uh, debates towards any presidential candidate. So, this is also one of the thing. So, so many people thought that you know technology is helping in shaping the mindset of the people, but also it is creating misinformation because there are so much information on the social media. So, there is also a surge in misinformation related to this kind of debates. So, uh, we have now come to the current scenario. So, this was the scenario 10 years back. So, what is the current scenario we have? So, today most people get their news through the social media as opposed to television or print. So, right now earlier what we have seen that there was a time radio was at the center stage. After that television came and after that 
television and social media both were at the center stage but right now social media is at the center stage and more people are interested on watching it on youtube facebook twitter rather than on television and any newspaper or any print form so this was also one of the thing and because of this advent of social media culture the candidates try to prefer one liners so that if they will speak one liners and they will use any kind of slogan that will be widely shared discussed and that will uh, become a viral content so there was much focus on the one liners so because of this technology this kind of processes had evolved and uh, what what had happened that excessive political post has tired the mindset of the people and there was a survey which shows that 55% of the adult social media users were worn out of this situation that they are getting so much of excessive political post so that also created a situation of worrisome among the politicians and also among the youths that why there is so much of political post which has been posted so this is also one of the things and in 2024 people will increasingly be watching the debates over a streaming service as opposed to the broadcast on cable channel so this time what we have seen that uh, the last debate we have seen that most people have watched on youtube twitter facebook so this time also the social media is on center stage so this was also one of the thing and uh, what is the duration of this thing so if we'll talk about the 16 presidential debate so we had three debates and uh, all three debates of the 90 minutes and the average watching hours and watching minutes is 22 minutes so this was also one of the thing and whether it is broadcasted on social media or anything and uh, what we have seen that technology had brought the transparency into the uh, what you can say uh, these kind of thing that everyone has exposure to the media everyone has facebook everyone has youtube so technology is playing a vital role in creating the sentiments of the people and political process but also what we have seen that many times political leaders political parties are exploiting these kind of technology so technology can be boon also but bane also because uh, it is giving exposure to the people and people are highlighted through the technology but so many politicians also exploit these kind of technology in order to make sentiments and perception towards them so this is also the thing and this has become an american tradition so before moving to the question round we need to discuss that what is the significance of debate and discussion in any electoral process in india we don't have such kind of things we have rallies we have campaigns and what we have seen that if they want to canvass their policies, if they want to advocate their agendas, so they uh, advocate through various rallies, campaigns. So there is no a single platform where so many political leaders are coming. Suppose that in India we have this prime ministerial election, Lok Sabha election. So suppose that we have 10 contenders, 5 contenders, so they are sharing the same dice and debating on the future of the nation debating on their agendas debating on their policies so that creates an equal ground an equal uh, media exposure to everybody because many times what we have seen that oppositions and so many people are allying on the current ruling political party that they had grabbed the media attention they have purchased the media and media is uh, singing their tune so if equal exposure will be given and if a same dice will be given to everybody so that perception sentiments and uh, the voters will have this idea and make a comparison that who is better so this thing is very much important for any electoral process and it is advisable for the nation that those who have not adopted debating culture they must adopt in order to bring transparency and also accountable towards the people this time if we'll talk about the first presidential debate between two political leaders of america what was the main agenda and what was the main policies they had discussed so they had discussed widely on the gaza palestine issues they had discussed on the immigration they had discussed on abortion laws and also jokingly on the gulf so these are the main points of discussion between these political leaders and what these debate shows us that immigration was an important factor important point to be discussed in usa we had this Gaza-Palestine issues, what is the take of the USA on it, 
why two contendents are fighting on the other countries and what are the abortion laws and it's related to the women. So, these are the central stage and it tells that this time election will go into which direction. So, before uh, here we will discuss, before wrapping up the session, here we will discuss the one uh, MCQ question. Who was the 16th president of the United States of America? James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, Thomas Jefferson. So, you have to answer this into the comment section. I hope you like, that you like this session. If you have any queries related to this session, Kindly ask in the comment section and have a nice day. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe, and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.